Aside from the Shane Dawson series, one of the most popular series on YouTube is Content Cop from the creator iDubs. But he hasn't made a Content Cop since October of 2017. So at the time of recording this video, it's been over a year and a half, and a lot of us are wondering why. And that's exactly what we're gonna try to get to the bottom of in this video. What we do here is go back, 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 back. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And I like to pull a bunch of different topics from the YouTube community, try to analyze them, do some commentary on them, and try to toss around some ideas. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, this is something I've been thinking about for a while. And originally, originally I was gonna make this video about why Content Cop might not be as effective as we think it is, but then my wheels were turning even more and I was like, you know what? Maybe that question might lead to another question which we might have answers to of why iDubs isn't really making content cops anymore. So let's dive back into the history of Content Cop. Originally, originally, Content Cop was like a regular series on Ian's channel. So on the iDubs channel, he was doing Content Cop, but there were like these smaller com uh, commentary videos, much like you see today from people like, you know, iNab or other creators like that. There were these kind of smaller videos and he was just talking about different channels that he thought were ridiculous or silly or funny or whatever it is. So one of his first big productions of a Content Cop was on Leafy Is Here. It wasn't his first big one. We're gonna come back to Keemstar in a minute, but Keemstar was actually his first one, but then he went on to make the Leafy Is Here one. And I think the Leafy Is Here one got iDubs a lot of traction, a lot of momentum, because not long after that, Leafy Is Here kind of disappeared from YouTube. And a lot of people attributed Leafy Is Here leaving YouTube to the content cop made about him by iDubs. Now, although it was made after the Keemstar one, and although it got 36 million views, Last year, in 2018, Leafy is here, popped up out of nowhere, and he did an interview on Drama Alert with Keemstar. And Leafy kind of talked about why he left YouTube. And there was many, 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 many factors to this, one of them being Content Cop, but there was a lot of other factors. So, through that interview, we kind of see how the Content Cop that iDubs made about Leafy might have been more correlation than actual causation. So again, I started thinking about like, is Content Cop as effective as we think? Like three of the biggest ones, obviously, were Keemstar, Tana Mojo, and Rice Gum. So let's go back and look at these in chronological order. The Keemstar Content Cop, the original release date was May 5th of 2016 it got over 27.2 million views. At the time of its release, Keemstar on the channel Drama Alert had approximately 1.4 million subscribers. Today, Drama Alert has 4.9 million subscribers. That means it's had an increase of 3.5 million subscribers since the release of Content Cop. The Content Cop on Tana Mojo, its original release date was February 6th, 2017. That video got over 26.6 million views. At the time of its release, Tana Mojo had an approximate subscriber count of 2.4 million. Today, Tana Mojo has 4.1 million subscribers. So that means there has been an increase of 1.7 million subscribers since the release of the Tana Mojo Content Cop. The most recent Content Cop was on Rice Gum. Its original release date was October 3rd, 2017. And that one blew all the other ones out of the water with 41.5 million views. At the time of its release, Rice Gum had an approximate subscriber count of 8.5 million. Today, RiceGum has over 10.8 million subscribers. That means since the original release date of that content cop, he has seen an increase of 2.3 million subscribers. What's interesting is that RiceGum actually begged iDubs to make a content cop on him. And iDubs kind of clickbaited us all and made us think it was a, a content cop on Jake Paul, but it was just really the fake Jake Paul, which he deemed rice gum to be, all right? It came along with a diss track and everything like that. Now, something else to think about is that 
one of the most controversial creators on the platform, Onision, has also begged iDubs to make a content cop about him. Now, in an interview on the H3H3 podcast, Ian discussed how long it actually takes to make a content cop. Ian discusses how it takes him months to do all of the research that he wants to do, and these are gigantic productions, so it takes a long time to create these videos. So something that we need to ask ourselves is, what is the motivation? What is the motivation for iDubs to create content cop videos? I would imagine that it's like many commentary channels where his motivation to make these videos was that he wanted to speak out against creators that he deemed as being morally incorrect. With that being his motivation, let's look at what the actual results are. Not only, not only do these creators get a ton of attention, but they also get even more views, more subscribers in some cases, and more money by making response videos to Content Cop. And as we can see from the data, they have not really been canceled or lost any subscribers over time because of the Content Cop being released, no matter how many views it got. Aside from those results, if we check in with Ian's possible motivation to make these videos, what are the results for Ian? All right, so the iDubs channel obviously has gotten a ton of subscribers from his Content Cop series. He's also got a ton of views from the Content Cop series. But if you look at his original motive, he's not really getting what he set out to get. Now, there is a ton, a huge amount of monetary gain from making these content cop videos, but it's not really getting down to the true motive and why he made these videos in the first place. Now, personally, as a creator, and you might be able to relate to this as well, I would imagine that it's a little disheartening to iDubs, right? Feeling that, you know, some other creator is morally incorrect, being a bad person, Ian takes all this time, puts in all these effort into these content cop videos, and at the end of the day, nothing really happens. And I'm thinking about making some videos about why that happens, but anyways, think about how disheartening that is. But here's the thing, Ian still comes out on top. The benefit from this content cop series is that Ian has created a massive, loyal, die hard audience, okay? Currently, iDubs is sitting at about 7.3 million subscribers, okay? Now, in the last six months, iDubs has only made seven videos, all right? When you take a look at these last seven videos in the last six months, add all the numbers together, he is getting, on average, 3.5 million views per video, all right? So, when you look at that, Think about it. He is doing less work, he's creating content when he wants to, and he's still getting a ton of views. And one thing to take into account too is, at the time of recording this video, one of his most recent videos, getting uh, into that trend of making like these power rankings, this video was only released a little over 24 hours ago and it already has 2.0 million views. So what that means is, the average number of views that iDubs actually gets per video might actually be higher depending on how this video does over the next week or even the next month. So when we take a step back and we look at this situation and we put ourselves in Ian's shoes, what's really the incentive to make any more content cop videos, right? If these videos take months of research, they're a huge production, putting all this effort in, hell, he even drove out to a meet and greet with Tana Mojo for part of uh, his video on her. Like, what's the real incentive if it's not doing what he set out to do, right? So now, he gets more time off, he can make easier videos, and he's accumulating enough views to make a living for himself. So, those are my thoughts, and I'm thinking maybe that's why we might never see a Content Cop video again. But based on all the information that you've received in this video, I'd love to know your thoughts and tell me why you think that Ian stopped making Content Cop videos, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to get your name right here in the credits, become a patron supporting the channel, what I'm doing here, get some other perks like getting involved in our monthly Q&A, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.